Hi guys, what's up? It's Amy. This is Amy's Art Table. Today I have a really cool airplane to paint with you, so I hope that you guys will enjoy this one. Go ahead and grab your supplies and a comfy seat and we'll get started. All right guys, we're going to work on this light aircraft today. Um, so if you have purchased a kit, you would have this printable on watercolor paper, but you can go to my website and download the printable for free and print it on copy paper or watercolor paper. Um, and either will work just fine. The watercolor paper is preferable, but if you do not have access to that, copy paper can work um, for learning painting just as well. Um, so we're going to start with this little plane and I'm going to grab some supplies. I'm going to start with a medium brush. I'll put this guy up here. Um, what I'd like to start with is the sky. So with the exception of the clouds, I'm going to start working on painting with water. So I can really blend this sky. And then you're going to want to choose a couple sky colors. Um, so I'm going to go with a light blue and I'm just going to do the standard fluffy white clouds. So I'm going to leave the clouds for today, but um, totally up to you if you'd like to paint your clouds a color. Painting with water so that I can blend around the airplane here. All right, maybe one or two colors for your sky. I'm gonna do two different light blues here. Just gonna start blending this light blue in with the water right up to the clouds. And just start forming the sky all around the plane. If you're following along and you don't have the printable and you're freehanding this, um, you would want to start with a little bit of a pencil sketch right in the center. Um, the most important part of the plane, I think, being the wings and the underside of it. If we can get those into place with your sketch, then you'd be able to paint it just fine. So I'm going to take um, a bit of a dark blue and I'm going to mix a bit of gray so I can come up with this grayish bluish color that is going to be um, the plain side that is in um, shadow. So this will be the underside. This came out a little bit dark, so I might lighten this a bit, but this is going to be the part of the plane under the wing that is in shade. So it's going to be a bit darker. We go back and add a bit more gray to this. Okay. So I need a bit more gray because this is looking a little too blue. All right. So 
So I'm mixing some gray right on the wing here. And then same thing on this wing and the underside of the plane. Okay, so I'm just finishing up the wing here. This side came out a little bit darker than the other side, so I'll go ahead and darken this side. You, I'll use some of the watercolor from the other side and move it over to this side. See how it darkens that? It's kind of a cool trick. Okay, so. This is all the area that is in shade, so it is going to be darker. And then I think we can move on to some of the little red details here. So there's a little bit of red on the propeller and on the wings, and then the red stripe that goes on the body of the plane. So let's start working on that. I'm going to use an orangish red. Again, you can use whatever color you'd like to. And I'm just going to go along these two little lines here, showing the movement of the propeller. And then right on down this stripe and then I'm going to wait on this stripe a little bit because this wing is still a little bit wet and I don't really want this to blend. So I'm going to wait till that's dry. And then this stripe here along the plane, I'm going to make red as well. All right, now I'm going to add a dark yellow stripe to the body of the plane. Okay, now this stripe has just bled just a little tiny bit. So I'm gonna grab a towel. You can grab a paper towel or a towel. 
I'm just going to dab that off just slightly there. And then we go back with a slightly darker blue um, to do the windows. Right, guys and that's pretty much it we'll add a little bit of black to the tires here and then when this dries I'll go back and kind of just dab these little um, blendy areas that I did by accident and that will be it you could always add your own color scheme or you could paint your clouds or your sky more dramatic if you wish but this is my little attempt at the light aircraft airplane. I hope that you enjoyed it. And come on back for some more fun on a different day with a new tutorial. And always be checking my site because I have new printables all the time. All right. Have a great day, everyone.